everybody and uh, happy new year um, in this video we will look at um, demo that integrates uh, JPM business applications with Okta Okta being the identity management uh, service which is very popular right now and we will look at um, how we can set up very easily a single sign-on or SSO to your JPM business application using this service now uh, for um, you know for this is actually a paid service but they do have very good uh, developer support so which is free and they also have a fairly good API so we will take a look at um, developer.octa.com this would be your starting point to come to in order to use this um, demo and you will have to create an account um, and go ahead and log in I'm going to go ahead and log in here and once you come in you will have to create an application uh, again this is free for uh, developers uh, when you create an application you can give it a name we call it here JPM Okta demo and as far as uh, your users you only need yourself you don't have to set up multiple users um, however with groups the everyone group you get um, out of the box when you create the application you will have to go here to groups and create a group called admin with a capital A and assign uh, your user to that group um, once you do that um, you there is an additional step to actually assign a group to an application so when we go to your app and look at groups you will have two one is admin and the default one called everyone and um, that is the kind of basic setup that you need in order to use this demo for the demo um, the source code and uh, documentation on how to which I just described is all available on github uh, under our business applications uh, repository here you can see all the samples and the demos that we have done so far as well as all the tutorials which follow the, the JPM business application um, documentation. So one thing that you have to do is um, go to your application properties of the Okta demo and on the bottom you will see the configuration section for Okta. When you create your uh, application on developer.okta.com you will get three um, things that you'll need here. One is the issuer, the client ID, and the client secret. Um, and those you will get when you create your business application. Um, and you just cut and paste them here. So <coughs> this setup on developer.doctor.com and the three pieces of configuration that you get for free by doing that is all that you need in order to use this Okta demo. So let's go ahead and take a look at what this is. Uh, now, I've already started the application here. So all I did is went to um, business application sample Okta. I cloned um, this repository and I just built it using main. Um, that's pretty much all there is. So what we want to do is once this application is lo launched, um, I go to localhost 8090 and as you can see since I already logged in into developer.octa.com um, I have my single sign-on available and I have uh, logged in into my business app and this is uh, just an admin page because I am a part of the admin group and it just shows me basic information about uh, the user I have logged in with now if we go and go ahead and delete the cookies um, and try to refresh our app you will see that um, our application single sign-on has integrated with the Okta service and we're actually because um, localhost 8090 so the, our index page or all the pages in this demo are secured will be redirected uh, to the Okta login service now 
this is very nice because you do not have to um, deal with like things like remember me or changing your password and stuff like that within your application that is all done with Octoc that does that for you so I'm just going to now go ahead and sign on and I will go to my index page which again because I am part of the admin group um, I can view it now we also have for sake of the demo uh, another page set up called sales which because my user uh, there is no sales group here and there is no user assigned to this group um, the user I'm logged in with or myself in this case is not allowed or unauthorized to view this page and we will take a, 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 a look at the code after on, on how easy this is to actually set up so let's go ahead in Okta go uh, developer.okta.com go to groups and create a group called sales now when we go to sales um, we're going to add a member so I'm just going to add myself Done. so right now uh, we have a group however this group has to be then assigned also um, to an application so we're going to uh, click on manage apps and we're going to assign this group to our JPM Okta demo application so right now if we go to our app and go to groups we will see that we have three groups the admin and the sales group and we I am assigned now to also sales so right now if I refresh or let's say I think we have to re-log in for this let's make sure that is true yes so if I go ahead and uh, delete my cookies again and re-log in all right so I'm going to log in again and try to go to slash sales I will be able to see this now so there is an update required by Okta. So um, re-log in in order to update your uh, groups uh, for the authenticated user. So as you can see, that, that is the basic demo. Um, now I can open up another tab or a window and you see this is single sign on our already logged in um, and everything. Um, and again, let's make sure the sales works. So let's take a look now at the code. Now Okta has very nice integration with Spring Boot and that I think it's the power of the service especially for developers and especially when using JPM business applications which in a sense it's, it's a, a Spring Boot application that you are running. Um, and as far as the support we can see here in our um, sample Okta service, we take a look at our Okta dependencies. Okta has a Spring Boot starter. We do need the security Spring Boot starter. Um, and uh, that's pretty much it. I believe, let's make sure. Yes. And uh, we do have the Okta Spring Boot starter as well. So this is the two things you will have to add to it. And that's it really. Um, this is the latest 2.20 release of the um, Spring Security All Out uh, 2 as well that you will need. Once you have that set up and you can basically cut and paste it in your JPM business applications, uh, you're pretty much good to go. We showed the three settings in your uh, application with properties that you have to set. Uh, once you have done that, um, you go to this class is generated for you. This is the Spring Boot application class. One thing that you will need to add here um, is an, uh, enable global method security because 
we want to secure as we have seen in our demo at uh, the index page we want to secure it that only um, users of the admin group can access that and the sales page we want to uh, be able to only members of the sales group to 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 be able to access so this is basically uh, enable global meta security is a spring boot a way of allowing methods um, to to uh, be processed before they're actually uh, accessed or access is allowed to them and we will see that in a second let's take a look at our application controller our application controller one thing that you have to add is enable resource server um, and that's pretty much it to it and we have two get mappings one is for the slash, which is our index page, and you'll see here the pre-authorized annotation, and we say has authority of admin. And that basically tells us, uh, tells Spring Boot um, that only serve this page if, and only if, the authenticated user has the authority. Um, the groups in Okta are automatically uh, map to authorities uh, of the authentication and we have the authority admin and this basically just shows the uh, admin page or the index page which are under resources templates and there is the index.html the second method is for slash sales and again we pre-authorize it making sure the, the authenticated user has the authority of sales um, and what happens when this doesn't uh, occur? Well, here we go to our default web security configuration, and there is two, um, you know, actually just one really needed, um, <coughs> excuse me, annotation called enable auth to SSO. And that's really all we need. Um, the Octa Spring Boot Starter pretty much handles everything if this annotation is enabled for us. And we have our configure method. We say that any request or all requests are authenticated. And in case of a 403, so the access denied, uh, we go to slash 403. And in our application controller, we do have a get mapping for slash 403 which returns our 403.html page. And you've seen that that's the red one when we tried to go to slash sales and uh, it tell, told us that the access for this page is restricted for us. Um, so that is really all you have to do in order to get uh, Okta up and running in JPM business application. It's very simple, it's very fast. Um, also, we do have um, an Okta or a couple of Okta work items, uh, which um, uh, we have already committed. Um, that I will go ahead and describe in the next video or one of the follow-up videos to this. Um, and we will uh, take a look at how to do user group configuration for, for uh, user tasks. Um, and also how to use the, the Okta Java API inside of your business processes to get groups, to get users for, for certain groups and just query the information that you have set up and running in your, as your identity management information if you're using the Okta service. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please leave your comments um, if you like and I will read them all and reply. Um, and I hope um, this helped you guys get Okta set up in your business application. Thank you very much. Goodbye.